Good morning, everybody. Well, uh, uh, not a good look. Um, I am just about to do my workout. I figured today... What am I doing? Um, I figured today I would film my day because I never do that. Today is my normal day off, so I thought it might be quite fun to take you along with me. <laughs> look at this face. And for you to just see what I get up to on a normal day off. Well, I say normal day off. Nothing is a normal day off. But first off, I'm going to do my workout. This has to be worth a cool and warm up. They're not good enough, you want the wet food. The interesting thing about these sunglasses is that they are too big for my face ID recognition thingy to work. I was just trying to plug my phone into my uh, holder in my car and I set off my medical ID thing, the emergency SOS thing. So now I'm stressed. I think I had it plugged in the wrong way. So it was like pressing on the button. I think I've sorted it out this time. Wait and see if it happens again. Probably will. Now I managed to just take the whole thing off. This is going well. It's going very well. I think it's also because the vents in my car aren't the right size. Okay. I think I got it. Nah, it's gonna fall. How do I tighten this thing? Oh my god, I'm such a nana. I don't understand. I'm probably like missing a bit of stuff, aren't I? And I bet I've probably thrown that part away. Okay, this will be your view. Hello. Sorry, this isn't working. <laughs> Maybe I'll just talk to you from down here from now on. None of that's gonna work. And the rest of it's just gonna set off the, the SOS button. It's gonna give you like a nice chat whilst uh whilst I drove somewhere but I guess that's not happening now um unless I can turn your portrait and then you'll have to put up with it being portrait. This doesn't stay where it's meant to stay. Ah! Okay I guess I will continue filming when I get to where I'm going. Okay bye. Okay I managed to do it but the only way you're gonna see me is in portrait mode so sorry about that. Anyway I am off now trying not to run over some people as I pull out of my driveway and now the whole world and his wife's come along and also this guy has just decided he's gonna park in the way of my exit and now is just continuing to pick up a customer outside because he's a taxi driver rather than just moving out of the way okay we're rocking and rolling we're going so as I was saying <laughs> before I ended up getting stuck trying to get out of my own driveway. Oh, sorry, you've gone sideways again now. Need to go and get some foundation because I've run out. Well, I say I've run out. Um, I've actually ended up with like a load of foundation that's gone off because I've just not used it for a year. So it's just like claggy and not very good. So I'm gonna go and get some new foundation because I need that. Um, and I also, now the charity shops have reopened, I want to see if I can find um, some charity shops to just go and have a look in and I don't know if there are any around there because like I don't live near Blue Water, well I kind of do but also kind of don't at the same time, um, but I figured shopping wise it's probably best to go outside of London because it's going to be less busy not so many people around and there's nothing I specifically need from a charity shop but I just kind of like having a look and it's been a long time since I've had a look so I'm gonna uh, yeah go and do a bit of browsing and see if I can find anything that's if I can find any charity shops I need to do all of this in a very short amount of time so um, I need to be home before 12 today and it's 20 past 10 now so do we reckon I'm going to be able to do that? It takes me about 25 minutes to drive to Blue Water if the traffic's okay. Um, possibly less than that. Um, so we'll see. The road. 
brushes on, see if I can do it. <laughs> Just arrived. Beautiful day today. Just wearing a t-shirt and it's fine. Weird. It's been flipping freezing for the last few days. Right, so commence find foundation. I am very quickly noticing that I'm running out of time to uh, to go to charity shops. So I think I'm just going to do this and then head back home. success I got everything that I needed and I definitely got some things that I didn't need like this giant bubble tea I'm always nervous about like popping the top of the bubble tea because that always happens and you end up spilling it all over yourself and also this is a paper straw and like I know it saved the turtles and all but by the time I've drunk in this this paper straw is gonna have completely disintegrated I right, some good boba though it's chewy I got a taro milk tea because it's good. There's way too many calories. But it's too good to not get one. So I got my foundation and I also ended up going into Primark. Um, and so I got some face wipes because they're always good because they're just a pound for two packs. I got a ridiculously bright pink lipstick because it was three for two on Rimmel. And I bought some Bare Minerals foundation because I keep on hearing really good things about that. Also got some, is it Maybelline? Yeah, some Maybelline foundation. And somebody gave me some free foundation samples as I was uh, walking past, which is some posh YSL. So I shall eke that out <laughs> and hope that it's my shade. And I also got a mascara as well because I've run out of mascara. Well, all my mascaras run out really quickly. If you're a mascara wearer, I don't know if you have the same problem as me, but they just seem to burn through mascara. Like it is just, I don't know, stuff that you burn through, whatever that might be, paper. <laughs> so I am running behind now, but I kind of knew that might happen. As I said, I wanted to go to some charity shops, but I don't think that's going to happen today now because I need to find some decent ones and um, I would like to do that um, with a bit more time to spare, I think. So, um, oh, my, uh, because I've got my car in reverse, it's thinking that I'm going. Um, yeah, so I'm going to drive home now and wait for the grocery order because that's the thing that's coming back. Um, and because Neil 
works taking calls all day um, sometimes he's on the phone and then he can't get off the phone to get the orders and to collect them from downstairs so I'm gonna um, zoom back home now and then I've got a couple of little things I need to do and I also need to do some writing when I get back so um yeah I'm gonna zoom home now okay so I just got home um, and I thought I would show you what I bought excuse my clothes that are on the end of my bed I'm assuming everybody in the world has a I've worn it and not put it away because it's still kind of clean pile and why as humans why have we not sorted that out yet I don't understand there should be a method and there isn't a method I got a few different bits I got duvet set which is like a botanical print because we kind of alternate between like just two different sets we've got like a gold set and this blue set and I don't really like this blue set like Neil bought this but I don't really like it so I'm kind of I won't phase it out but I might phase it out I thought this one would go with like the colors that we've got in here so and for 20 quid not too bad so hopefully it'll last all right and if it doesn't it was only 20 quid so it's not really a huge problem now I went to Primark because I needed pants so I got those I also got some things I didn't need, like a pair of black jeans, which are like flared ones, but they're high-waisted flares. I used to have a really nice pair of black Bieber high-waisted flares, but I sold them not that long ago and I kind of regretted it as soon as I sold them. I wish I kept them. So instead I got a Primark pair that probably won't last as long. And I managed to drag them all the way around the shop so they're covered in uh, other people's hair and gunk. So I'm going to put those straight in the washing machine, I think. And I also got a pair of ripped denim shorts as well because I've been looking for like a longer line pair of shorts because all the ones that I've got are quite short shorts I just want some that are a bit longer that I can sort of wear without showing too much of my bum and then I got a, a reed diffuser thing in Primark called Retreat I quite like their reed diffusers because they're pretty cheap and um I don't know sometimes when you buy the more expensive ones they don't like they just sort of stop working about halfway through so I don't mind the cheap ones because they seem to actually work. I've got one from Next that I bought like three years ago and half of it's gone but and it still smells fine it's just stopped doing what it's meant to do. This one's quite like nice fresh smelling it does smell like a spa and I do love a spa so why not make my home smell like it. I don't know where to put it though I don't know whether to put it in the living room. Like sometimes I quite like them in the hallway so when you come in it smells nice when you come into the home get a uh, a fresh reed diffuser going when I've done a good house clean and I haven't done a good house clean for quite a while it's been too busy and I also got this nice candle as well which is clean linen scented and I love a clean linen smell that's like one of my favorite smells smell of fresh laundry definitely one of my favorite smells and then probably the most exciting thing that's turned up today is this which is from Marek from the Cool Dudes Walking Club now if you don't know Cool Dudes Walking Club it's a YouTube channel and it's made by Marek Larwood and I literally only like ordered this yesterday and it's already come so super duper fast shipping oh and he's written me a little note <laughs> So he's uh, attached a little badge to the top of this and it says, Dear Nikki, thank you for joining the club. I hope this finds you well. I'm just watching your video about the central line. I didn't even know that you watched my video, so that's cool. I always think of the bloke who gets killed in the American werewolf in London whenever I go to Holborn. I never know whether it's Holborn or, or Hoburn or... I tend to say Hoburn, but I don't know. Holborn. <laughs> He says that's his favourite film of all time. Hope you get to do more exploring soon. Stay cool, Marek. That's really cool. How sweet. So I got a very handy map of Britain from him. So I know how to... Uh, well, I'm holding it upside down so you won't know where to go. There you go. <laughs> it's very useful. I don't know whether uh, this is meant to be the Isle of Wight, which is where he's living at the moment. So maybe. And I got a little notebook here. So I can make notes when I do my cool walks and also a spotter's handbook as well. So this means that when you're out doing your walks, you can uh, do all your different little spotters. It's, and there's Marek at the end there, which is cool. 
little postcard as well. It says the Mysterious Isle on it. I don't know whether that's meant to be the Isle of Wight. I guess so. And then there's my membership. How cool is that? I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to put them all in a very safe place. And then the next time I go out for a walk, I shall use them. So those are all the bits I got. And then my post today. I'm going to go and show Neil this now. He will think it's cool as well. What are you doing? I'm varnishing my, my new guitar. In public. Why do we have to do it out here? Because it's toxic and we don't want to poison the cat. <laughs> Much. And also. Because it's sunny. And. I don't know. We don't have a garden. We don't have a garden, that's true. Thanks for my vlog. <laughs> Shake that a bit, I was just going to get my top off. <laughs> <laughs> just how you like it. Warm as I thought. Told you it was hot today. Yeah. Just like you. Hey. <laughs> Cheeky. A sticky. Just like you. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm going to lie down on the grass now. Okay. Okay. Over here, am I gonna be in? No, I think if you're there, you'd be alright too. Yeah. Of it, did you? Yeah. You did. Oh, over there. Okay. There we go. Now what do we do? We kill time for twenty minutes, and then uh, do another layer. So here it goes, it's me. Hello. Welcome to my show. What's your show gonna be? Vandalizing bits of wood in the park. Yeah. Confusing people by making them think that it's some kind of art sculpture. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. My elbow feels exceptionally crinkly today. Yeah. Do you want to varnish it? <laughs> Give it a touch. There. Oh, it is a bit crinkly, isn't it? Yeah. I thought you meant your, uh, your weenus. Not my weenus. Why? Why is it lumpy bumpy? Hmm, you dehydrated? Probably. Hmm. Oh, I see a strawberry and watermelon thing. Nice. You want to try some? Oh, I'll have a nibble. What was your favourite thing of dinner last night? Um, oh, it's I liked, like strawberry movie. I liked the look of the prawn. Yeah. But you didn't like the taste of it. Well, I, I only had a very tiny little bit. Yeah, so there's only two tiny little bits in there. Yeah, I don't understand what that was all about. Why was, why was he so big? 
Yeah. That had so little flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know whether the stuff coming out of it was supposed to be the sauce. I didn't or whether know whether it was, it was the, the poop. sauce, yeah. I didn't, didn't I mean, want to I risk assume, it. I assume it was the sauce, but I wasn't about to eat it. No, I didn't want to risk that it might have been brain juice. Yeah. Or bum juice. Or bum juice. Where's where's their bums then? At the top they, of their heads. They, they just have a stripe of, of brown down the middle of them. It's their yeah. intestinal tract. I like the octopus roll. That was good. Yeah. Is it crispy and nice and crispy? Yeah, it was crispy. Mm. How about you? What did you like? Mm. Oh, I really like the tomato salad. Weirdly enough. Yeah, yeah, and a nicely good. prepared salad is, is actually a good thing, isn't it? It's just yeah. I can't be asked to prepare it myself. No. Yeah. Good though. Padron peppers, always good. Mm. Uh, I like the potatoes. potatoes I, I found good. it amusing that the chips were the only part of the meal that needed as cheese knife and fork. Yeah. <laughs> They're so big. Oh, it's on the flight. just finished tidying up my room and oh that doesn't look very tidy because Neil's trousers are hanging over the edge of his wardrobe and the wardrobe door is still open let's just shuffle this way then you won't be able to tell I put the new bed sheets on look good I'm pleased with those they match the colour of the walls as I thought they would which is good and now I'm just poured myself a big gin and um, strawberry lime thing I've got a roast chicken in the oven so I'm gonna make some chicken salad wraps for dinner and um, I think we're gonna play a bit of Goose Game tonight, Untitled Goose Game, um, and just generally chill out. I, uh, Whilst I was doing a bit of tidying and sorting out in here I watched a documentary to help me with some research for my next episode of Macabre Mini Mysteries. I won't tell you what it is um, but yeah that was quite interesting. I always like doing the research for these things because like it's I I just watch them anyway so, <laughs> so whenever I end up watching these sorts of do documentaries it's always good fun. Thank you very much for spending the day with me today. I hope you enjoyed that video. Something a bit different, but I hope it was all right for you. I thought seeing as there's quite a few new people here that have subscribed recently, um, thank you so much for doing that if you have subscribed recently. And also I've had like a couple of new patrons as well. So thank you very, very, very much if you're new here and you've signed up as well. That's like really cool. Thank you. Yeah, so I thought it would just be cool for us to spend a day together and you can just kind of get to know me a little bit. I don't know whether that was enlightening or whether you learned anything or what, but uh, or whether it was just entirely boring. It might have been. Probably was actually. But thanks for coming along anyway. I'll be back as normal with a macabre mini mystery next week. Um, so I will see you guys then. Bye! Time for more gin.